Welcome to Lively Lewis Stories. Buckle up, because you're about to join Levi and Ivy on an adventure. All you need is your imagination, and off, off we, we go! go! Lively Lewis Stories! Ivy and Levi rushed downstairs from their bedroom. They wore green PJs and a giant smile on their faces. I can't wait to see what he left us, exclaimed Levi. I bet it's something green, giggled Ivy, or something gold. Levi and Ivy stopped at the top of the stairs, so excited to see what was waiting for them. But it wasn't Christmas, and it wasn't one of their birthdays. It was another special day, St. Patrick's Day. Levi looked at Ivy before they went any further and said, I think it was a really good idea you had to not try and trap the leprechaun to get his gold but rather leave him a treat and a nice note asking for him to share some of his gold. I'm hoping a little bit of kindness works too, said Ivy. Just think what we could get with a bunch of gold coins. We could go to the new arcade that opened down the street, said Levi. That would be amazing, replied Ivy. Both Levi and Ivy had been waiting to try out the new arcade, and they knew a few gold coins from the St. Patrick's Day Leprechaun would mean they could play all day. Levi and Ivy rushed down the stairs as they heard their parents getting up and ran into the living room. Green clover decorations were taped around the door frame and a bunch of green, white, and orange balloon floated around on the floor. But this year, something was a little different. Instead of the usual mess the leprechaun would make as a way to say, there's no way you'd ever catch me and get my gold. There is simply a teeny note on the coffee table next to a small green velvet bag. The note said, Hello, Levi and Ivy. I wanted to say thank you so much for being the only kids to ever ask me to share my gold rather than setting out a trap to catch me and take it. It was so kind of you and made me feel so wonderful. As a thank you, I've left you both a few gold coins. I know you'll use them to do something really fun. Maybe a few arcade games? Have a super St. Patrick's Day, your friend, the Leprechaun. Levi and Ivy were jumping around the living room as their parents walked in. Happy St. Patrick's Day, you two, said their mom. What's so exciting? They quickly showed their parents the note. It worked! Asking the leprechaun to share really worked, exclaimed Ivy. Wow, that's amazing, said their dad. But I'm not surprised. Kindness is always the way to go. It was so nice of you to do that, Levi and Ivy, said their mom, looking very proud. You deserve those coins, and I bet I know just where you'll use them. The arcade, called out Levi and Ivy together. Can we go today, asked Levi. Please, 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 added Ivy. I would love to say yes, but I invited Evie over as a special St. Patrick's Day surprise to play and make St. Patrick's Day cookies. Evie was a good friend of Levi and Ivy's, and even though they couldn't go to the arcade that day, they were really excited to see Evie and, of course, make cookies together. Tell you what, said their dad. We can go to the arcade first thing tomorrow when they open. Does that sound good? Both Levi and Ivy agreed that was a great plan. Then they grabbed the small green velvet bag and headed upstairs to get dressed and ready for the day. In no time, Evie was there, and they couldn't wait to tell her about the leprechaun and what he had left them. That's amazing, said Evie, holding the coins in her hand. I woke up to a few candies and a messy living room this morning, but it was still fun. Levi, Ivy, and Evie ran off to play, and shortly after, they were called into the kitchen to make shamrock-shaped cookies. After the cookies were done baking, the kids got to decorate them with green icing and tons of sprinkles. And they also got to sample a few before they went back to playing. Time always went by too fast when Levi and Ivy had a friend over, and before they knew it, Evie's mom was there to pick her up. They decided to invite Evie to the arcade with them the next day, and Evie said she would meet them there when it opened. After dinner, Levi and Ivy got ready for bed, super excited for a fun day with Evie at the arcade. Levi and Ivy fell asleep quickly after such a busy day, but what they woke up to was nothing they could have ever expected. The next morning, Levi walked into Ivy's room looking very confused. Ivy, wake up, said Levi as Ivy opened her eyes. Do you remember me putting my green St. Patrick's Day pajamas back on last night? No, you were wearing your superhero PJs and I put on my unicorn PJs, said Ivy hopping out of bed. Uh, no, you didn't, said Levi sounding very confused. 
Ivy looked down and quickly saw she was wearing her green St. Patrick's Day pajamas too. What's going on? asked Ivy. I guess maybe we could have been so tired from such a fun day that we put these pajamas back on and forgot about it. I guess it's possible, answered Levi as they walked downstairs. Just then their parents walked out of their bedroom and things got even weirder. Happy St. Patrick's Day, you two, said their mom. Levi and Ivy didn't know what to say or what was going on. Why aren't you two already downstairs checking on what the leprechaun may have left you? Asked their dad. Leprechaun, muttered Levi. But wasn't St. Patrick's Day yesterday? Their parents looked a little surprised at the question and thought Levi was just playing a joke on them. Let's go downstairs, Levi, whispered Ivy to her brother. Maybe we can find some clues down there to explain what is going on. But when they walked downstairs, they found exactly what they had found the day before. They read the note and looked in the small green velvet bag. However, they weren't excited like yesterday, but rather very confused. Wow, that's amazing, said their dad. But I'm not surprised. Kindness is always the way to go. It was so nice of you to do that, Levi and Ivy, said their mom looking very proud. You deserve those coins, and I bet you'll know just where to use them. Levi and Ivy stared off into space, still trying to figure out what was going on before answering their mom. Yeah, we could use them at the arcade, said Levi. But we can't go there today because Evie is coming over to play and make St. Patrick's Day cookies, added Ivy. Wait a minute, said their mom, sounding surprised. How did you know that? That was supposed to be a surprise. I guess you must have heard me talking to Evie's mom on the phone the other day. Yeah, uh, that's it, answered Ivy. Levi and Ivy knew something strange was going on and ran up to their rooms to figure out what it was. Do you think the leprechaun put a spell on the house? Asked Levi. And it'll be St. Patrick's Day every day for the rest of our lives? Added Ivy. Oh no, said Levi. No more birthdays, no more Halloween, no more beach days. That would be terrible, but there has to be something we could do about this, said Ivy. Maybe we're just having a deja vu. Deja what? What's that? Asked Levi. It's when it feels like you've done something before as you're doing it, answered Ivy. Yep, that's definitely what this feels like, answered Levi. But I think if we try to change our day, maybe we can get out of this St. Patrick's Day loop, suggested Ivy. Levi said it was worth a try and off they went to make some changes to their day. When Evie arrived, they didn't tell her what was going on, but instead just tried to play different games, talk about different things, and even wear different clothes than they had the day before. They made their shamrock cookies, but Levi and Ivy only ate one cookie instead of the two they had the day before, thinking maybe that would work. But after Evie left, They got ready for bed, fell asleep, and woke up to the same thing they had the last two days, St. Patrick's Day. Once again, they tried their hardest to make this day different from the other two, just hoping that it would get them out of their St. Patrick's Day deja vu. Get it? St. Patrick's Day deja vu? They didn't wear any green at all. They did art with Evie instead of playing games. They played in their treehouse instead of riding bikes, and they didn't put any green sprinkles on their shamrock cookies. But after Evie left, they got ready for bed, fell asleep, and woke up to the same thing they had the last two days. St. Patrick's Day. This is getting to be a little exhausting, said Ivy to Levi. There has to be something we can change that we keep overlooking, answered Levi. After thinking for a minute, Ivy jumped up and exclaimed, the shamrock cookies. It's the only St. Patrick's Day themed activity we do with Evie. Maybe we should ask mom to just make regular chocolate chip cookies today. Right, answered Levi. No green frosting, no green sprinkles, and no shamrock shape. So that's exactly what they did. When it was time to make the cookies, they told their mom all they really wanted was chocolate chip cookies instead of the shamrock sugar cookies. Evie loved any kind of cookie, so she was fine with the decision. After they made the cookies, Levi and Ivy looked at each other and smiled. They really felt like this was the one thing that would get them out of their St. Patrick's deja vu. And like the last few days after Evie left, they got ready for bed and fell asleep. But finally, when they woke up, it wasn't St. Patrick's Day. 
They weren't in green pajamas, Evie wasn't coming over to play, and there was no small green velvet bag on the coffee table in the living room. But there was something. It was a teeny tiny envelope, and inside there was a note. Hello, Levi and Ivy. I wanted to apologize for putting a little spell on your house for the last few days. I was the one behind your St. Patrick's deja vu. (laughs) But once you took away the shamrock-shaped cookies, you took away the St. Patrick's Day spirit, and the spell was broken. It's just, I've never had any kids try to be nice to me on St. Patrick's Day before, and I really liked the way it felt. So selfishly, I wanted to make it St. Patrick's Day at your house all the time. I'm really sorry, and I hope you can forgive me. I'll see you next year, and have fun at the arcade. Your friend, the leprechaun. Levi and Ivy quickly wrote a teeny tiny note back and left it on the coffee table before they went into the kitchen for breakfast. Their note said, Hello, leprechaun. No need to be sorry at all. We feel bad this was the first time you felt like someone was being nice to you. We're so happy you shared your coins with us, but we don't need any gifts to be your friends. And because of your kindness to us, we will always keep the St. Patrick's Day spirit in our hearts. We can't wait to see you next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Your friends forever, Levi and Ivy. Okay, you two, it's time for the arcade, said their dad after breakfast. Run upstairs and get dressed so we can go meet Evie. As Levi and Ivy ran through the living room, they noticed their note was gone. And in its place sat two shamrock shaped cookies with green icing and tons of green sprinkles. They smiled as they ate their cookies, knowing exactly who had left them. Their friend, the leprechaun. Did you learn a lesson from this story? If so, what was it? And parents, do your kids have a story idea? Leave a comment on our Apple Podcast review page with five stars, the idea and your kid's name, for a chance to join Levi and Ivy on their next adventure. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Come back for more.